All right, we're starting with our broadcast address 210-49-29-47 plus 1 for our next network number, which is 210-49-29-48. That's what we have here. And when you're doing this on paper or whatever you're doing it on, don't forget to update your number here as you're going through your scheme. So here now we've got the 32 and 16 bits set for 48. Now network C wants at least seven valid hosts. So what's the tightest mask I can use and give them seven valid hosts? Two, four, eight. Uh, can't do it though, can't do it with three bits because while two to the third power is eight, you gotta subtract those two invalid addresses and that's gonna give you a six, so that's not gonna be enough. We have to go the four bit route one more time, at least one more time. There are our four bits. Now we know that we're starting with a subnet and mask of 210, 49, 29, 48, and we have decided on a slash 28. Our subnet mask then, or excuse me, our subnet address is 210, 49, 29, 48. And I can hear a bunch of you already shouting out what the broadcast address is, so I'm not even going to ask what it is. What is it? If all of our host bits are one, then the total of that is 63 because our four bits there add up to 15 and 48 was already set. So 63 goes there and that means that your valid hosts are 210, 49, 29, 49 through 210, 49, 29, 62. And that in turn means that our next network number would be 210, 49, 29, 64. So let's go ahead and do that one right here. We will, I'm gonna change that requirement there too. So we've got 64 right there. What I'll do, zing, let's just copy that and then we'll update it. So there's our network. And now this is 64. So, whoops, nice try. 64-bit is the only one set. Now finally, our network D here, let's say that it just needs uh, three valid hosts. Needs at least three valid host IP addresses. What's the most restrictive mask we could use here? Two, four, can't do it with two bits because again, I'm just, I, I know I've reminded you a lot, but you'll thank me after you pass. You have got to subtract the two. So if we use two host bits, that means we only have two valid host IP addresses. So we've got to use three because two to the third power, two, four, eight, minus two leaves us six valid hosts. Leaves us a little bit of breathing room too. So let's use three host bits, right? Slash 29. So we're going to use 210, 49, 29, 64, slash 29. So we know what the subnet address is, 210, 49, 29, 64. What's the broadcast address? If those three host bits are all ones, our total value is 71, because that's going to be seven right there. That's your four, two, and one bits, and your 64 was already set. So this is going to be 71. And your valid host IP addresses are right in the middle, 210, 49, 29, 65, through 210, 49, 29, 70. And that's it. And that takes care of Network D with three valid hosts. Gives you a little bit of breathing room, but you're not, you know, heaping a lot of unused addresses on that segment. That's really, that's VLSM, and this is a great review of some other things we've done in the course. Uh, you know, when you're sitting down with a VLSM scheme, it's much uh, easier on you to start with the larger numbers. That's what I did. And I said, you know, I'm doing my 21st, then my 10, then my 7, then my 5, then my 3, excuse me. And you just go from there. But this way, with this scheme, and I'll show you that in the last video where we're going to wrap all this up, we're not wasting one single address. It's all sequential, and we've got all of our networks taken care of. So I'll meet you on the next video, and we'll take a look at our final result there.